Now, here's where it gets interesting. Let me walk you through what this new prompt actually does and why it's such a big deal. Without source provenance, an AI fact checker will just look for matching words online. It will find the same sentence repeated on 20 sites and go, see, it's true. But that's not truth, that's just an echo. This new prompt breaks that cycle by injecting provenance awareness directly into the process. It starts with the original source, in this case, the McKinsey article and tells the model explicitly, this is where the claim came from. Now treat anything on this domain or its mirrors as non-independent. So when the AI agent searches the web, it's not allowed to count McKinsey or any site that's just republishing their text as evidence. It filters them out and even lists them as excluded sources with reasons like same domain, derivative, or quotes the original. That forces the model to hunt for independent corroboration. For example, one claim said McKinsey weighted their survey data by each nation's share of global GDP. The model searched academic papers, other consultancies and global data sources and found no independent evidence confirming that weighting method. Now, obviously there wouldn't be independent evidence for this because this is an action that McKinsey took themselves. But the point still stands. Instead of faking confidence, it returned insufficient independent corroboration. It still recognized the claim existed with a high confidence score, but it told us that no one outside McKinsey had verified it. That's what makes this approach genuinely trustworthy. It's not trying to prove things, it's showing you where the proof stops. It respects provenance, exposes dependency chains, and teaches you to ask who's actually verifying this and who's just repeating it. And when we apply this tweak, the results speak for themselves. 